Members of the Twin Falls Police Department and City Council attended the vigil last night. And while that's over now, the question comes into play as to whether or not they'll hold up their end of the bargain and try and make some change. Chief Kingsbury spoke at the vigil last night and stressed how important community is. He addressed the need of having an open dialogue between both the police and members of the African American community. We stand with those in the marginalized communities and we hear them, we understand their frustration and uh, I pledge to this community and this state that we will do better. One of the organizers of the vigil spoke as to why having this platform to discuss these issues with police is so important. It takes that civil conversation for us to talk and share a common goal. And then you find that we're not that much different, right? Yeah. You have that beautiful conversation and you say, I have this struggle, I have this struggle too, but do you know this is what I have to endure? And that light bulb comes in. These issues also go further beyond the local police, with responsibility also falling on the local government. We immediately started having discussions as a city as well as police department about how to approach this and we strongly feel that now is not the time to be lecturing our citizens. This is a time to be listening. The city knows that public discussions will be the only way to fix these issues we have in Twin Falls. That is our primary concern. We want everybody to have a voice, regardless of their race, religion, or background. Uh, for those folks who feel like um, they can threaten others because they disagree with their opinion, I tell them we're not going to allow that. Since there is still a long road ahead and plenty of discussions to be had, we will be continuing coverage to see how the police department will specifically be trying to make change in the community. In Twin Falls, I'm Alex Grant, Idaho News 6.